right? I guess I should turn on the music. It's pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... Hello, Brad. Hey, how are you, Greg? Thanks for being on my program. Yeah, thanks for having me over. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. It's an enjoyable meal. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Glad you think so. Yeah. So, well, what was your favorite part about the meal so far? I think I... I gotta say that slaw was pretty awesome. The slaw was good, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think that was it. A lot it. of different vegetables. And mm-hmm. It's tasty. So. And then Albert's specialty, apparently. Yeah. What's the most difficult thing about trying to stay, keep a healthy lifestyle? Well, um, that's a that's a good question. Uh, hardest thing about staying healthy is when you're out in public um, at like a party or something, mm-hmm. there's this beautiful spread of uh, <laughs> cheese dip and yeah. cookies and uh, whatever else there is, and um, you have kind of like a social pressure that you want to, mm-hmm. like, did you try my cheese dip? And like, yeah. What are you going to say, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to eat your cheese dip. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, I love cheese dip, and I'll eat it anyways, but... And you know um, it's going to taste good. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm cool with eating it, but but as an example, like, when you're when there's social functions or holidays or uh, or anything like that, I think that makes it really difficult not to overindulge. And if you, if you just kind of pick around and just eat the healthy stuff, uh, there's always the threat of being like ostracized for that. Like, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing trying to not die of heart yeah. disease? <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> but I'm glad you brought some, some sweets for us. Yeah, to keep us to keep us sugared up. <laughs> <laughs> Something that, as far as being vegan, mm-hmm. um, I was vegan for, for quite some time. Um, okay. like, like nine months or so. And, um, one thing I found really challenging with that mm-hmm. was that I caught myself uh, trying to be like the perfect mm-hmm. ideal, idealizing yeah. my veganism. And so I got to the point where I wasn't being healthy because I was tired of cooking because you, it's difficult to eat out. Um, yeah. and so I catch myself like eating like a sweet potato. <laughs> Instead of like, right, yeah, getting enough calories for the day, I'd be like, no, I can't eat any animal products, mm-hmm. and so I'm just gonna eat just this sweet potato, and then I, I realized that that was getting more detrimental than yeah. being healthy, um, because it was hard to just be cooking like three meals a day. Um, so, yeah, the uh, if you, yeah, that, when the when the diet they start when the diet starts to take over, yeah. Rather than you kind of controlling like, the healthy routes when yeah. the diet starts to take over, that's constricting and maybe even yeah. not very healthy. Yeah, so um, I think something that I would I would like to see is that um, you know kind of like a, a moderation mindset about like yeah you probably shouldn't be eating a lot of dairy like definitely try to avoid that but like. You don't need to be in such a, a mindset of like if you eat any dairy, then you're not who you say you are. Or, it, it, or yeah, something. right. Yeah, like it becomes like orthodox. Like yeah, you have to yeah. so do the, so the 80, 80 20 rule. Eighty percent of the time you're trying to yeah. the best you can to eat healthy, and then twenty percent of the time cheap. You're free. To do what you That's want. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But I thought that would be something that you'd be interested yeah. in. So, uh, when it gets too constricting, it's not good for anything. No, no, yeah. it's not. So. And then you're liable to just fall, kind of fall off the wagon type yeah. idea. It's true. Cool. All right. Yeah, thank you. That was good. I hope so. I hope it helps.